Hello friends, this series of videos is being brought to you as a resource for both parents and students. We wanted to make sure that parents and students clearly understood how to log in and utilize some of the tools that they're going to be seeing in their blended learning. So while they are completing work from home and these are tools that might be applicable, students would be using in the regular classroom as well. So. Uh, to start with the very basics, your student is going to log in to their Glasgow Schools account in Google Chrome. Now, Google Chrome uh, does look like this icon here. If Google Chrome is not installed on your own computer, you can install that just by simply searching Google Chrome and downloading that, and then you can use that as a search engine. If you are using a school Chromebook device, um, you're in luck because that is what they do operate on. So I have just opened a Google Chrome Chrome page here and it will ask you to sign in or log in. So I'm simply just going to go here and I'm going to add an account. All right. And I'm going to use another account here because I'm signing in for the very first time. All right. So my student is called test student. Now yours is going to be your child's first name dot last name. And then the ending is at stu dot Glasgow dot KY schools dot US um, and that is the same for all students so typically their first name dot last name and then this um, ending to the schools and then your child does have a unique password to them and I have entered mine remember passwords are something you should keep safe and private so I have signed in and this is the first time that this account has been signed in and it can offer to save passwords for you I absolutely suggest that you do this um, if this is the first time logging in you know you do have to accept some permissions and whatnot and so I can tell that this is logged in because I have a T right here for test student it'll typically be the first initial of your child's name. Now, if you open Google Chrome and they are signed in, you're very easily going to be able to get to your child's Gmail. And so you can click here and see your child's Gmail. Uh, this one is brand new, um, and so it might give you a little tutorial, um, but it can give you some tips and things. And this is where you would see emails from your children's teachers and things like that. And we got to that from right there. But this is a very important piece right here, and I like to call this your waffle. These are some of your most used Google tools. And when you are logged in and you click that waffle, it is going to bring you to a lot of different tools that you can use in and I'm going to go back here because I was signed in um, your waffle can bring you to a lot of different frequently used tools so I see this T so I know I'm under my test student account here and I'm just going to click to go to Google Classroom because this is where you're going to have a lot of action going on when you're talking about assignments and things like that you can also ask, access your Google Drive here this is where your files are kept and stored and then if you need to make new things like Docs sheets and slides you can do that as well and see your very own Google Calendar if your teacher has set up a Google Meet you can access that from here as well so right now we're gonna head to Google Classroom and we will show you what is up next